everybody's kind of feeling this pinch everywhere. Christy Mathern with the personal finance website WalletHub says the national rise of people defaulting on their credit card debt speaks to what people are feeling as prices across the board keep rising. When we see delinquencies, we see people leaning on their credit a little more than normal. And when it comes to defaulting, she says it's particularly bad in the South. Texas ranks fourth highest in the country at 8.67%. Nevada is the highest at 10.52%, and Wisconsin is the lowest at 4.94%. These delinquency rates can actually influence lending practices and consumer confidence and your overall economic stability. Falling more than 30 days behind on your credit or auto loan payments also has far-reaching impacts on the individual. People use their credit scores to get apartment leases. You know, they, they use it for more than just credit. It can affect your whole life. And bankruptcy attorney Stan Springerly with Lincoln Goldfish Law in Austin says it's those situations that can lead to real trouble. They're barely making minimum payments. And then you add on top of that maybe something like a divorce, a disruption in income, job loss, accidents, health problems. Stan says he's been getting more calls about people wondering if declaring bankruptcy is right for them, which he says could be a valid option in some cases. Everybody's situation is a little different, but it needs to be significant enough to justify the cost of going through a legal proceeding. He says knocking out credit card balances from smallest to largest is a solid strategy on top of tight budgeting and avoiding high interest credit cards. Pick the lowest balance, get that one out of the way first, and then double up as much as you can on the next lowest balance and kind of use that domino effect to give you encouragement to get out of debt. The good news? Texas's delinquency rates are actually lower than in both 2020 and just last year, which was roughly 11 percent. I do know inflation is kind of slowing down, so I would hope that we can continue to see these rates kind of go on the, the downslope, especially in Texas. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.